here, the Frugal Crafter, and you're watching Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. Today I'm going to show you how to mosaic a picture frame. It's super fun, easy. You can do this technique on tables, picture frames, boxes, whatever you have around your house. It needs a little sprucey sprucey. And best of all, the kids can help you do it too. It's a really fun family project, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's go to the table, and I'll show you how it's done. For this project, you will need mosaic tiles, adhesive white acrylic paint, an unfinished or painted wooden picture frame, a trowel, and some grout. Begin by painting your frame or whatever you're going to make white or the color that you intend to use for grout. Then lay out some of your tiles until you get the hang of how they're going to be placed. Then start gluing your tiles down. I'm using Helmar 450 for these acrylic tiles. Make sure you use an adhesive that's compatible with the type of tiles and materials you're gluing them to. Here's a time-saving trick. Use some adhesive to cover an area of your item that you're mosaicing on. That way you can just push the tiles into that wet area of glue. Don't worry about any glue showing between the tiles. It'll likely dry clear, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to cover all that up with grout anyway. Let the adhesive dry completely before continuing. Now it's time to grout. I like to use a plastic uh, palette knife from the arts and crafts store for this because it just works really well. You can also use a putty knife or an old credit card, whatever you have on hand. The goal is to get the grout in between all the nooks and crannies of your tiles. That way, when you wipe off the excess, you'll have a nice smooth finish. After you're satisfied with the amount of grout that you've got between the tiles, scrape off the excess grout on the inside and outside of your frame so it will be easier to clean up later. Once the grout has set up, meaning it's no longer wet and squishy to the touch, but it's not completely dry yet, you want to polish the tiles. What you want to do is take a damp rag and wipe the haze of grout off the top of your tiles. I just used a baby wipe here for this small project, but you could just use an old t-shirt that is wet. Simply keep using new areas of the cloth as you go so you don't just redistribute the grout on other tiles. The goal is to polish them up so they look nice and bright and shiny and to remove that grouty haze. A small project like this will only take about five minutes to polish, and then it will look like this beautiful bright tiles against the white grout. Isn't that pretty? You still need to let it dry completely before you use it though, so I would leave it out in a warm room overnight, and then you'll be all set to use it. So what do you think? I think this is a really fun project, and if you love DIYs like this, make sure you check out my channel, The Frugal Crafter. I just did this faux egg box on my channel the other day, and I'd love it if you stopped by to learn how to make this too. If you want more homing garden projects, make sure you subscribe to Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. It's got everything you need to spruce up your house. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting!